Yep, just going up to do the dam removal. It's got to be a slow process. We don't want to flood anything too too quickly, so we're going to take out a couple of the stop logs. So where are we, Jay? We are at uh, Bernie Cage, and we're on our way back to the pond, just making our way through the field. Marty's got his tractor, and I've got the mule full of equipment. And uh, we'll see where we're going here. probably built back in the early 1970s or late 60s and we're doing this because on the upstream side of this dam it's uh, really the, the water really attracts a lot of heat and we're trying to rehabilitate this creek to reduce the amount of, of uh, the, the temperature in the creek so it's a little bit better for the fish habitat and this dam is, is uh, not being used anymore I think at one point it was used for recreation and the landowner doesn't feel it's necessary anymore and uh, so he kind of wanted to do his part to rehabilitate this section of, the, of this particular creek. So moving the dam is part of that process. So we're doing it slowly, a little bit at a time, and uh, so we don't uh, affect anything downstream. And hopefully in the end we can rehabilitate the top end to a little bit of a wetland area and have a natural creek meandering through the area where there was once a haunted water. Water seem to get very wet. A number of years ago we identified in the Thames watershed over a hundred barriers on small water courses, big water courses, rivers, creeks. So this is one of many we hope to remove over the next number of years and we're beginning the process today on this particular stream. Sanctuary, birds in particular, frogs, toads, uh, anything of that kind, maybe a few minnows. I hope the public will be able to come and view it. Yeah. And there's a lot of stuff that's been done in the past that. I guess we know now maybe wasn't the best thing to do so it's a lot of coming back to things that have already been done and just modifying them or changing them to uh, I guess uh, better practice that we're now aware of.